All right, so as promised, we are northbound on I-65, and we had, I don't know, an epiphany. Pam is driving behind us with Emily, and they're having a great time. Uh, one day we will hook up the vehicles, but for right now, we have it. So the Jeep's actually being driven, not towed. But what our epiphany was, our favorite restaurant, unanimous, across the United States, is what? Milo's. Milo's. Yes, that is the exact same as the Milo's sweet tea that you all have known to love, and we love. Milo's Hamburgers is a fast food chain here in Alabama, and they're not outside of Alabama. So when you're in Alabama, you gotta stop by. So that's what we're doing right now. We are floored, trying to get up this hill, head into Coleman, Alabama. That is the last Milo's, basically, period, before we get into Tennessee. Yeah. We're headed to Nashville right now. We're gonna go meet up with the Glamping Gleaves and the East uh, Nashville KOA. So right now, we're going to navigate ourselves over to the last Milo's on our route, we headed towards Minnesota. So if it'll get it right now, where are you getting it? I'm getting it. And if you want to know why it's our favorite, well, stay tuned. We'll show you. So there's a rest area about a half a mile up here, but we're not taking that rest area because Milo's is our rest area. So we've just let Pam know the great news is that not only do we have a Milo's right here, but right across is a Chick-fil-A. It is a win-win for everybody. Well, you know, I mean, you didn't mention that you, we did, I had no idea what we're doing. So we're getting off the interstate and I saw Coleman, I'm like, he's going to Milo's. And then we kept going and going, I'm like, how far out of the way is, is this Milo's? There, it is never far out of the way to go to Milo's. That funny. is a fact. So yes, we dodged the interstate. We got on the back roads, headed to Coleman. We are now in Coleman. We found a parking lot just across the street, which is close enough. Mm -hmm. We are going to meander into Milo's, kind of split the forces. Gluten-free is going to Chick-fil-A <laughs> and non-gluten-free is going to Milo's and we're gonna meet back here <laughs> and we're gonna have one hell of a lunch. Yes. Right? It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> We're gonna go to Milo's mm -hmm. up top. Where's Milo's at? Sure is. Look at that. Do you need to get in? Uh, not without our Milo's. Score 
So we just walked out of Milo's. I got a Mega Meal and you got? Um, the Double Thick. Yes. The yeah, thick. She doesn't like anything on hers, but basically uh, meat, bread, and ketchup. Wait. I mean, That's literally. Literally, there's nothing else. And we're here at Milo's and guess who's coming up? There she is, good timing. Great timing. What'd you get? Well, I got the Mega Meal. She got the double thick. What'd you get? I got a chicken, gluten free uh, grilled chicken with bacon sandwich. Nice. Yes. And fries, and she got chicken nuggets and applesauce. You know what? Let's head back to the rig. Yes. I know, right? And look at that, our dining room. I know, right? So much nicer. Uh, so now we just need to fix that uh, generator. Yeah. So what's going on with it? Uh, so it just will stop for no reason. It will start after a while and it'll just stop. I don't know. It has a symbol next to it. We were looking for our uh, Onan... Uh, generator book but we couldn't find one in our files so I don't know if we ever got one but uh yeah so now we gotta figure out online what the symbol means um, on the generator and uh, it just kind of cuts out for no reason well let's try to get it started again and see if it'll run for a little bit okay and so, so we hit stop all right and uh, start So it starts. Yeah. So it starts. Let's we'll see how long it goes. And then it'll just shut off. Yep, let's see. We gotta turn on the AC. <laughs> Turning on the AC. Oh hey Tibbet. There's a good boy. Oh uh, no, right? Alright. Alright. It's on. on yes. So we'll see how long it will last. I'm gonna go ahead and dump the air in if we're just sitting here there we go all right show me your burger okay all right what kind of burger did you get double thick no onions. the double thick no onions double thick wow Look at that huge burger. Oh, I see a smile. It's gonna be delicious. Oh, it already looks delicious. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I got the gluten-free um, ultimate or deluxe uh, chicken sandwich. And so they give it to you all separate because the gluten-free buns tend to get soggy. So I like that. So they give it to you extra. And then, uh, so I'm just making my plate now. I could choose not to have the bread, which is probably the healthier option, but why not? It's easier to eat a sandwich with the bread. It sure <laughs> is. And what is going on here? You having fun? Oh, he's destroyed. He sure is. Barbecue. Sounds good to me. Emily, what'd you get? Mm, apple sauce. Nice. Oops. Apple sauce. Well, the chicken is fighting me. Look at that. You just made your own. Yep. Made my own. I'll tell you what, that's a pretty tasty sandwich for gluten free. Oh, I know it. Now I just gotta get all my fixings for my fries. Let me guess, mayonnaise. Uh -huh. Yes, this family is half European. 
and half southern. So mayonnaise <laughs> is absolutely part of the culinary experience. Yes, it is. She's been doing this since we met in Germany, which is mayonnaise on the pomfrets or french fries. Yes, it's the best. And you can mix it with the ketchup. That's even better. I think she's going cuckoo. So I guess that poses the question to you guys. As you travel America, are you mayonnaise and french fry? Or are you just plain ketchup? Which one is it? Or are you ranch? Wait. There's a new contender. I love ranch. Or are you ranch? Yeah. So I guess uh, we'll see. We got ketchup, ranch, and mayonnaise. Which one are you guys? Are you glad you're here? Oh yeah, it's nice. It's starting to get hilly. Up, 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 go to the bathroom. I'm gonna go check us in. We're at the Nashville East KOA Journey, and it looks fun already. We're so in Nashville. We're greeted by a pool and another RVer, so we're good to go. <laughs> Nice. It's just water electric. I forgot that's what I booked. You know what? We well, don't we don't need more for one night. I know, and it was sixty bucks cheaper than the rest. So we'll just take a shower at the bathhouse. Sounds good to me. <laughs> We're finally here. Nashville KOA, right? Last time we stayed at the Grand Ole Opry RV Resort, and that was amazing. So yes. this time we're staying closer to some uh, friends that we're gonna meet, the Glamping Gleaves. We just sent them the message, let them know what spot we're in, so they'll be coming later. Um, have some fun, have some good times. So the spot is just big enough for the RV, which is great little unlevel so we're not going to level because of the rocks i actually packed away those little yellow squares they're in the back somewhere they're strapped up with the grill and i'm like i'm not going trying to find and dig through all that for just one night so yeah it's gonna be a little unlevel so note to self put them where i can easily access them or else she's gonna be digging them out <laughs> excuse me <laughs> she doesn't know that yeah, so what's pretty cool is that you got the playground right in front of us. Um, the office is right here. I mean, we're not wanting for anything. This is amazing. All we gotta do now is set up. Yeah. Pa Pam's already out walking tidbit. She probably expects me to have everything done by the time she gets back, but you know, it's the procrastination. That's what we do best, right? Yes. Up top. There's nothing gonna be done when she gets back. She'll be like, you haven't even gotten out of the driver's seat yet. It's like, I know. This is why you married me, right? So, we're going to, she's gonna start food. Yay! And I'm gonna start hooking up the power because we're not doing anything else. So, I'm thinking that's gonna go pretty quick. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna go pretty quick. So, we can procrastinate even further. Yeah. So anyway, 
just let you guys know, we have no idea where we're going tomorrow or we haven't booked anything. So tonight we're gonna figure out how far we're gonna go, uh, where we're gonna go, probably gonna do a harvest host along the way, find something cool, fun, and about four or five hours from here and just pull all in. So yeah, more to follow on that. It's gonna be exciting kind of figuring that out. She's already tired. I mean, it's four in the afternoon. This is, see, this is why we only do four hours a day. That we have plenty of daylight, plenty of time, socialize, have fun, get some dinner, right? Kids are exhausted. And they're, hungry. They're in bed by 5 p.m. What? 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 They, yeah, they're totally not at all. No, not at all. Never. Never. Those kids go to like midnight. So anyway, so yeah, so we're gonna have to figure out where we're going tomorrow, but we're gonna put a pin in that. We're gonna hook up power and get the setup started, right? We have just arrived, we got a setup. We are knocking it out of the park right now, aren't we? Yes, we are. I haven't touched a thing. <laughs> Man. Procrastination champions, right? That's right, up top. Right. Oh, here she comes. I think we're getting in trouble. <laughs> All right. Are you ready for business? We are ready to go. Shopping. Wait, we gotta go grocery shopping? Wait, yes. what? Yes. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, we gotta fill the fridge that works now. So, we've been going north for four hours straight, and it's hotter than it was where we left. Can you believe that? Oh my gosh. It hotter in Nashville than Birmingham. I know, and we noticed on the way that there's a lot of brown grass, like they haven't had rain in a while. So, yeah, we just gotta keep going north. I don't think he's look had. At I don't think he's had water in a while. He's like, oh, he has water. He's like, look at him. He knows where it is. It's just that hot outside. Just walked him for like two minutes, and he's like, Ugh. I feel the same. I understand now why when we came in, everybody was at the pool because it's hot. <laughs> I need food. You need food? Mm -hmm. Well, then tell your father. And a nap. He needs to hook up the water and the power so we can set up. I'm on it. <laughs> I'm totally on it, aren't I? Mm -hmm. well, Almost done. Well, look at that. Really? You're just like your mother. Uh, yay! Hey guys, we're here with Travis from Glamping Gleaves. Yes. How exciting is that? We're in the Nashville area. Yes. This is the second time we've been here. Like I said, the last time we were at the Grand Ole Opry, and I know that you guys stay there a couple of times already. Grand Ole RV Resort. Yes. Grand Ole Opry yeah. RV yeah. Resort. Yeah. Yeah. That is amazing because yeah. we love it. Uh, last time we were there, we were on the courtyard. Oh yeah, we were like that side right next to the, the office Yep. where you have the front the lawn. Yeah, the whole lawn is your lawn oh, nice. and there's the band, so we got lucky. We were there oh. a month and a half, two months ago. Okay. And the week after we left, we had some major rain scoop through the area. They actually ended up they flooding that whole bottom area. No there's some pictures of campers that have water up to their bay doors and everything. Wow. just weren't in the area to get a pound and stuff. So. That's crazy. Luckily, our reservation ended before that. Ended. Yeah. There, there's two things we love about that park. It's the live music and it's the breakfast. Yes. Because you get right when you leave, you can get a breakfast yeah, to go. True. That's and that is that is for for yeah, RVers on the go. That's that's in the book. That was pretty. Cool. And they do meals each night. They'll have like only pizza on I think Monday through Thursday or something like that. But Friday, Saturdays they'll have some type of home cooked meal plate. Love it. That's so you, awesome. you love it. There'll be only one choice. Like here's what we're serving tonight. Oh yeah. yeah. Pancakes. Pretty good. Sounds yeah. good. <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> a bit breakfast. Why not? Why not? Well, yeah, that's awesome. Yep. No, so we're actually looking at different areas in the uh, uh, surrounding area right here. We're trying to figure out what's for dinner because this one right here, she is absolutely on our case about food. Yeah. So she's been telling us the whole time. She's like, Dad, food. She's just like her mom. <laughs> so you know what? Really? <laughs> we're we're gonna pull Travis aside and try to figure out where the best place to go is. We'll see you guys in a second. Oh, 
start the car. Nice. Look at that cute duck. It's got hearts on it. Look at that. That's adorable. Thanks, Travis. Yes, thank you so much. It's going right here, not going anywhere. <laughs> I know Lee doesn't agree. He's like, we're going to re-gift. But nope. Nope. I don't believe it. This one's staying here. All right, Travis, where did you bring us tonight? Town Square Social, right this square, Lebanon and Tennessee. You know what? This is a happening place. The entire area down here is amazing. Yeah. Murials on the sides of the buildings, downtown local feel, kind of others that you I just haven't seen in a you know long time. That's not. And you know what? It's vibrant. There was a wait to get in this place, so I know why you picked it. So we just ordered, and I just want to give a shout out to Pat Sime. I am ordering your favorite pizza, and that's the Tennessee honey. It looks fantastic. I'm going to give you a first hand point of view taste test. I'm relying on you. So you know what? We're going to have it, and we're going to have some fun. No question. No question. <laughs> Really good. Oh, sorry. And then we'll grab a Parmesan pepper, Greek dressing, and a microwave. Okay, and the microwave. Yes, it'll be okay. Thank you. Look at that. It looks good. Oh, the infamous. Oh, I want some. Look at that bad boy right there. All right, so this is the Tennessee honey. This is the like seafood. How's your salad? Look at that bad boy right there. I'm jealous. Good. Wow. I will come all the way back to Lebanon, Tennessee, just for that pizza. Yes, they are right in the south. It's Lebanon. Lebanon. It's four five This thing is fantastic. Okay. This is amazing. Sweet, spicy, savory, all together, thin crust. It's amazing. Thank you. This pizza is amazing. Mm. We know, Travis. Thank you for this recommendation. We can't say enough about it. This pizza joint, the social, is fantastic. We love it. We're going to continue having fun here. We'll see you guys later. Bye.